Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. So following up from our previous tutorial for the curtain simulation effect. So in this video we will share with you how we created a widget to control a sliding door to open it and another widget to increase the wind speed to simulate a cloth movements represented in these curtains. And as you can see there is also a collision happening on that corner with that chair and if I move the slider back, the wind speed goes down and we can also close the door again with that slider. So let's see how we created this widget. So first thing first, let's hide some of these curtains so we can get enough light inside our room here. And let's hide this one on as well. Now here is our door that we need to control to open it. Let's make more space here. And the idea here is that we would start by creating a widget. And let's call this, for example, door and wind. Now we'll start by bringing a canvas. And then we need a slider. Let's call this, for example, open sliding door now we can increase the thickness a little bit for this slider by going to the bar thickness and also achieve some alpha transparency so inside our graph I'm gonna select the slider and on value changed, we need to grab a node that will control this door, which is basically a static mesh component. Now, normally we do this by creating an actor and adding this static mesh inside the actor. And basically we bring a, a node called get all actor of class as we did in our previous tutorials. Then select the door obviously. But this door or this object is not an actor and instead of creating an actor there's another way to control this object if we hit on the search and write tag we'll find a tag index here that we can assign it to that object so we already did that in our example but i'm gonna change it now let's say for example open sliding door I'm gonna take a copy of that and inside the graph here get all actors with tag and I'm gonna paste that name now let's get a copy and then what we need to do is set actor location connect the target here and then what we and then let's see how we're gonna move that sliding door now the object was important on a specific axis orientation so the Y represent the axis that we want to move our door on so the starting value is what we can see here and the one that we want to reach for example let's say around 9 minus 900 and this is enough for us so what we're gonna do is drag from the value map branch clamped and the idea is we want to put the slider to move from 0 to 1 to control our sliding door from the starting point which is this one we'll take a copy from that and put it over here and the out range will be minus 900 all right now we need to control only the y-axis so i'm gonna split the structure here and this is what we want to change now i need to get also the x values because if we don't put the exact orientation it will reset to zero once we simulate that node so and the z and now we can connect this here and let's compile and what we need to do now 
is to go to our level blueprint and call this widget so these nodes as we did before help us create the widget to be available in the interface so the easy way to do this is to select our widget and go inside our level blueprint and assign it by pressing this arrow compile and let's test that so this is our new widget now maximize it by pressing F11 and if we drag our slider here you can see now that the door is open so next will be our wind and the same thing as we did also for the door our wind here is also a different actor of class so we're gonna type here tag and do the same thing again and type a name and that tag and inside the widget let's make a copy from this by control D to duplicate and let's put it over here and let's name this wind speed increase and inside our graph same thing on value changed get all actors of class with tag and let's call wind directional source and let's type curtain wind over here get a copy as well and for this one we will need to increase the speed if we type set speed this is basically the wind directional source and name also we're gonna need to duplicate this pressing ctrl d and connect our value here zero one but this one will start from zero let's say for example up to eight for example depending on your curtain details and how heavy are they so now we can compile and before we hit simulate one thing we need to do is select the curtain that you need to have collision enable in it and if you go to the physics you'll find inside the clothing enable collide with environments and also force collision update this will help you to have collusion while the simulation is happening and if we hit play now the curtain are opening based on our previous tutorial if you haven't watched this check the link in the description to find out how we did that so we'll open the door and now we can increase the wind strength as you can see now the idea here is just to create some kind of realism for the interactive project that you're working on and for sure you can apply this using different methods as well and if you have any questions please let us know in the comments hope you guys found this tutorial useful for your project and thank you for watching see you in the next one